Hello, Internet Denizens. Well, I'm doing double, uh, triple duty today. I am, I am taking the, the dog, well, uh, for a drag, <clears throat> and uh, I'm testing audio, uh, trying my brand new, uh, uh, where is it here? Uh, oh, <clears throat> uh, Tascam doobie. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back, Internet Denizens. Well, I continue to take the dog for a drag, uh, but I'm also testing uh, two audio devices. I'm comparing the little camera shotgun mic that I, that I got, the Hopper something. Road Hopper? Camera Hopper? Vlog Hopper? I can't remember. Anyway, it's Hopper, Hopper something or other. I'll, I'll put it in the description uh, below. But I'm also uh, trying out, comparing it against this um, this little device here that I just got. So uh, it's a, well, it's not a wireless, but it's a, it's a lav, and the recording device and everything is in here. So I, I record on this, uh, and then I have to sync it up later in uh, Final Cut Pro, which is not that difficult to do. It's very easy. So, you know, the, the reason for, uh, for uh, getting uh, that device, actually I got two of them, is because, you know, if I want to do a, uh, a vlog <laughs> and I want to do it far away from this camera, well, I really don't have any other choice. Well, except going out and getting a very expensive wireless uh, a lav system and and when you're trying to do quick vlogging you just want to grab the camera go out and and start doing stuff so uh, having to uh, attach the wireless pack to your camera and then making sure there's a charged battery in both the wireless pack and the and the pack that you're that you've got on you and and quite frankly those um, wireless packs that you carry around uh, tend to be quite uh, bulky uh, com and especially compared to this little Tascam uh, so that's one of the things that I'm interested in uh, the other thing I'm I'm checking is quality so I'll be a and being this uh, lens hopper that's what it's called the lens hopper uh, that's on my camera right now with the uh, lavalier mic and I'll bet you you don't know where the lavalier mic is on me right now. Well, it's an old uh, movie trick. Uh, I have put the lavalier mic in my hat. It's 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 right here. It, it really kind of makes no sense uh, that you'd put uh, the microphone away from your, your mouth, but that is an old trick for miking actors with, with lavaliers. Come on, Ivy. What is wrong with you, girl? Um, and we'll check out uh, the sound of it. Now, it, it does seem counterintuitive to have the mic uh, not pointing to your mouth. And most, most people have, you know, when they see a lavalier, they've got it, uh, you know, uh, uh, connected to their lapel. But uh, that's not always the optimal place uh, to put a lavalier because uh, when you uh, attach it to your skull, like I have under this hat, um, it actually picks up the vibrations of your skull and a lot of your uh, uh, sound is generated by the bones in your body and this dog is just not cooperating anybody want to buy a bully a bull terrier now i'm switching over to the tascam lav that's stuck in this stylish hat of mine uh, uh what can i talk about oh one of the things that uh, i think is really interesting is this uh, this business about moving to pods where people are um you know buying pods or, or renting, they're renting pods, and they're moving their house. So instead of using a, a moving uh, van service, which quite frankly, there's a lot of unscrupulous moving van services out there. Let's switch back to the lens hopper briefly. Um, and you can listen to the sound. Oh, listening to oh, oh, people crying in the house next door. Is that a, no, that's a dog. Uh, now let's switch back to my Tascam lavalier. Ah, it's a beautiful day. Um, it's, it's, it's crispy, but it's one of those things where uh, when you live in the northern climes and, and you're used to it being cold every single day, and then it, you know, uh, uh, rises up to a balmy zero degrees, and you, know, you got your jacket open and you're going, wow, this is, uh, this is thong weather. The main advantage to <clears throat> is getting a lavalier of some kind or a remote microphone 
or an onboard microphone like I've got right now, separate recorder, is that I can walk away from the camera and just keep on recording. So I can't do that with a shotgun, of course. And I am going to see how this all syncs up and, and works. Should work dandy. I can have a wonderful dialogue with myself and, and somebody else. So how are things, Ivy? Things are good? I am removing your totem. I'm sorry. So that's pretty much it for the audio test. Uh, outside. I'll be taking this inside now and comparing it, uh, comparing the Tascam Lav with my Rode shotgun microphone. Let's go back now. Well, I got a chance to sample the audio from this using uh, the headphone jack in here. It's very convenient. Uh, and I can tell now, and I'm sure you were able to hear when um, I was recording it, that there was a considerable amount of, of wind noise. Uh, and obviously, if I plan on using this uh, lavalier outside, I'm going to have to use uh, some kind of uh, sock, tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny sock on top of the, um, on top of the lav mic. Because it is, it is very, very tiny. I'm, so I'm wearing it right now. So now we're trying it indoors. I'm using the lavalier in its usual uh, lav uh, position, and I'm comparing it against this, uh, you know, Rode microphone that uh, the NT2 something or other. I can never remember the name of my stuff. So I'm now I'm going to be a being the sound from this uh, shotgun microphone, which I'm super happy with, and I don't see any reason why I wouldn't continue using it in this kind of environment uh, compared to this lavalier. So now I'm talking on the Rode microphone. Now I'm switching over to um, the lavalier, the Tascam lavalier. So uh, this is my uh, Kodak Darkroom book from, I guess, 1973. 74. Uh, this is, was my darkroom guide. Now I'm back to the Rode microphone. Uh, it's uh, got exposure time wheelie things. I mean, this is all logarithmic stuff that I, I used to have to figure out when I was doing darkroom, darkroom work. Now to the Tascam. Uh, what was really cool with this book is that I got examples of each one of the Kodak papers, uh, just exactly, you know, what it looked like uh, and the texture of them. I'm going to take all this stuff, go into my uh, editing suite, my basement of doom, and then I'm going to do a rough edit, listen to how this all sounds, and I'm going to be right back with my conclusion now. Comparing the Tascam Lavalier with this uh, Shotgun microphone, well, there's there's no comparison. The shotgun microphone does sound demonstrably, demonstrably, demonstrably better than the, uh, the Tascam lavalier. But I mean, the Tascam still sounds great. And with a bit of equalization, I, I could probably bring it up to, you know, close to the quality of this, uh, this shotgun. Now, this shotgun is really close to my, my mouth, which, you know, adds to the quality of the audio. The farther I put this away, wow, the, the, the crappier the audio. So I mean, if I put this all the way, if I put this all the way back there, then, you know, there's a big difference with the quality of the sound. And at some point it's going to be better to wear the lavalier. So it's, it's nice to have that as part of my arsenal of audio. <laughs> audio arsenal. <laughs> Why did I do that? I have no idea. Anyways, thank you very much for listening, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, and all you other people out there, marsupials included. Till next time, Internet Denizens, have good sound. Oh, that's, that's not a very good slogan. Uh, bye.